Today I'll tell you about how to connect a Wii U controller, the, this thing, this Wii U controller, to some sort of power source, like this one, without actually having it. The reason for that is I got myself one of these things, yes, and uh, I didn't get the cable, in my infinite wisdom. So first thing one does is have a look at the actual power supply. In my case, the most important element was this. The polarity of the plug. Which one is plus, which one is minus, right? So this diagram always tells you polarity of the plug or pinout of the plug facing towards you. This is the important bit. So if this one is facing towards me, the plus is facing towards me on the right. When I plug it into the controller, it will be on the left. This is 4.75V, which is pretty much USB voltage. Uh, it definitely has some sort of voltage regulator inside because the battery is about 3 point something. So next thing you want to look at is where to get 5 volts from. The most common source of that is USB. Any USB cable has uh, 5 volts on one side, here, and the ground on the other. And I just look at the, at the color cable here. That the reason for that is you will prob you'll probably have a cable with, with a plug on it and you will want to cut that cable. So what you do is take red, you take black and connect them to some sort of pins. If you have DuPont connectors that's helpful. If you don't just strip the, the, the cables and try to put them into into the socket of the of the gamepad. And here is the ready project. It is charging the battery. N no kitty, it's not about you. Th this, this time it's not. And it starts. But before that it wasn't putting at all. And here we have the cables. So I used two DuPont connectors, whatever they're called. The red one is plus, the grey one is minus. It comes directly from the USB cable. Don't mind the resistors, they're from for a different project. Um, so this is the red coming out from the USB cable, this is the black. So this is ground, this is plus. 